Yo, what's going on people? You're through to LSAT TV KO. Thank you for watching another video. Do not forget to subscribe. Right, Mr. Bradley Skeet. Um, man. Man, fought against a, a fighter from Spain called uh, La, 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 Riga. La, La Haga, La Riga. I can't pronounce this guy's name. Never heard of him before. La Rahaga, La Rahiga. Uh, anyway, Bradley Skeet fought this guy Saturday night in the Bilbao Arena in Spain for the EBU European World Week title and it was kind of brutal to be honest guys I'm not even going to lie it was hard to watch I'm a big fan of Brady Ski and I, and I like how Brady Ski has always presented himself and I've been pushing for him to have a, a tilt at a, you know a push at world level and maybe after watching Saturday's showing we have the reason why his progress has been so stagnated maybe he's his trainer and his manager maybe knew something that maybe we didn't um, I certainly thought Bradley Skeet was good enough to campaign at a, at a higher level, but uh, what we saw there on Saturday night was just, it was just, it was brutal. Second round KO, and it was hard to watch, man. The first round, um, Laura Higa was, was bullish, he was aggressive, um, was uh, fighting on the front foot and, and let Bradley Skeet know without question what time it was, he knew what type of fight he was in for, and the guy was clear, he was, he was keen to show that. You know, this is my arena, you're in the lion's den now and I'm going to make this as hostile for you as possible. The, the crowd was already hostile. Um, not much to take from the first round really. Bradley Skeet was flicking out a jab for flicking it out sake. Wasn't really a, a dangerous jab at all, but you know, <clears throat> the first round you couldn't really separate. I'll probably give it to uh, Laura Higa simply for aggression and intent. And then there was a the second round, man, which was just brutal. Um, three knockdowns. Um, three different shots one with a right hook that dropped him put him on one knee um, then 10 seconds later Larry Higa hit Bradley Skeet with a wonderful body shot dropped him again and then literally about 10 seconds after that a left hook dropping Bradley Skeet for the third time in his corner decided that boy that was enough the, the towel came in and that was the end of the fight um, real shame that real real shame because there's been a lot of talk about Bradley Skeet and Jeff Horn and Bradley Skeet's done a lot of talking online um, very, a lot of bullish talking and for anyone that's kind of got to know Bradley Skeet it's not really his style to do none of that trash talking I'm not saying that he was trash talking but he come out and said a few statements um, just displaying how confident he was should he get an opportunity with Jeff Horn that was a fight that, that was supposed to happen at uh, some point last year Jeff Horn obviously went on to fight Manny Pacquiao instead but yeah we're Bradley Skeet goes from this point it's, it's hard to say um, I hope he can come back and maybe get another tilt at a European fight but judging by Saturday maybe the European level maybe is just a, a, a level too too far for him which is quite sad to, to say that because uh, like I said I had aspirations for Bradley Skeet at world level uh, domestically he's been sweeping up of course he lost to Frankie Gavin a couple years ago in a fight that was quite close um, and then since then he's gone on to beat the likes of um, Sam Eggington um, but yeah maybe this was just a step too far man um, yeah what do you guys think of the fight if you watched it and, and I don't know man what does that mean does that mean that Bradley Ski maybe is a domestic fighter I hope not but maybe the road will be a little bit um, will be long for him to, to come back on he's still he's still relatively young at 30 you know he can still make a comeback um, but the road may be long uh, from this point to maybe get to a world level you know uh, status man but it can happen man he's still young enough and I still got faith that he can but it was disappointing to watch that performance um, by all accounts he got paid well for this fight so uh, that's the silver lining for me and uh, yeah I guess watch this space in terms of what happens for Bradley Skeet from here man but yeah just thought I'd leave my two pence on that fight um, as I'm a fan of Bradley Skeet and disappointed that he lost and, and lost so brutally man but I guess that's boxing man anyway I'm else TVKO and I'm out Peace.